discipline is doing something that you hate as if you love it. Mike Tyson said that. God bless you, Mike Tyson. God bless you for that one. Years ago, this spirited man went to the Nike company store in Beaverton, an employees only, heavily discounted Nike store. A lot of the folks who worked in the store wore t-shirts that said, running sucks. It made him feel better about his hatred for running. And maybe that's why he's made this video. Maybe to help folks keep at it. Yes, it sucks running, but you gotta do it anyway. Just like brushing your teeth. His run, four miles per day, five days a week. First half, uphill, in the dark. He's picked the most convenient and beautiful route within running distance of his house. He's blessed to have access to such beauty, but he doesn't see it that way on the uphill running in the dark part. Uphill and in the dark, the beauty doesn't make the run prettier. The run makes the beauty uglier. He started running seriously in 2005, encouraged by a woman, a doctor, and she was right. He's tried to quit running ever since, but it won't go away. The health benefits are just too economical. If only it wasn't so dang good for you, if only. Yeah, he's run a marathon, once. What a waste of time. He figures his injuries from the training and the race cost him three years of running regularly. He wasn't physically injured for those three years, but he feels his terrible finishing time, a time he holds secret. He feels his terrible time broke his spirit, broke his running spirit. Limping at mile 20, he was passed by a woman wearing a homemade t-shirt that said, I'm a 50-year-old grandma, and this is my first marathon. Ran right by him, as if she was on mile four. Good for her, but he refuses to redeem himself. He'll not run another marathon ever again. No way. He was 35 at the time. He hates those sweatpants. He runs in them because they embody his hatred of running uphill in the dark. He hates the fit, too big. Hates the color, maroon. Looks a gift horse right in the mouth too. Why didn't Casey get him red ones that match the sweatshirt? Letters have turned to pink by now, maroon. Yuck. He wears them because he hates them, but can't get rid of them, just like he can't get rid of running uphill in the dark. One day, up there, a mile away from any other human soul, he was running the Boy Scout trail and saw a mountain lion charging a rabbit about 100 feet ahead of him on the same trail. He never ran that trail again. The steepest, most miserable part of the run in the dark ends exactly at his run's halfway point, at two miles in. Cloudy today. But clouds are good in these parts, and rare. You know, Casey did go through a bunch of trouble organizing the cruise for Dad's 60th, and on top of that, 
had matching sweatsuits custom made for all five of us. Sent all of us framed photos from the cruise too. If red sweatpants had been a possibility, then Casey would have made it happen. If Casey couldn't do it, then it couldn't have been done. Wireless headphones and podcasts. Revolutionary. Without the headphones and podcasts, he wouldn't do it. Wouldn't run at all. Today it's John Waters on Mark Marin. Oh, how he loves them both. Heard on a podcast one day while running that running prevents cognitive decline, slows it down maybe. Something running, something cognitive decline. It helps. He gets ideas on his way home, downhill, in the light. And he dictates these ideas into his phone. One day, on one of his runs, on the downhill and in the light part of the run, he said this into his phone. Running uphill is the drilling of a well into his idea aquifer. And running downhill is the pumping out of the ideas from down in the aquifer. Running uphill is the drilling. Running downhill is the pumping of those fresh, filtered ideas. Running downhill, in the light, towards home. Running makes him slightly less crazy. Some mornings, he runs by a father and son, also running, right around here. Not today, but some days. The boy must be 13 or 14, and he can tell that the father and son hate it too. Hate running. He thinks about how much it will benefit the boy if the boy sticks with it. Usually, when he sees the father and son, he yells out some encouraging words. Looking strong, guys! Or, Fridays are the toughest. Why are they doing it? Trying to get strong? Maybe they're training for some event, some kind of race or something. He's never experienced a runner's high. Doesn't believe it. Doesn't believe folks who say they love running. Doesn't believe Malcolm Gladwell. If it turns out they're not lying, then they are completely different people than he. Maybe better people, he thinks. The only runner's high he gets is when the run is over. Not even high, just relief. His reward is that he doesn't have to do it anymore. Until tomorrow morning. 